Me, rocket, rocket science, ne? No, not even. Oh, not yeah. even like ten plus ten and two. No, oh, no, 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 no. I'm just like good. very, very like. Oh. Um, just like There we go. Okay. Okay, okay camera rolling. Um, okay. okay, my name is Matsiho Brenda Muduka, born and bred in Bloemfontein, now based in Port Elizabeth. Uh, Atleha was founded or the, was registered in 2016, December. It got the first accreditation with the CETA in 2018. Atleha is an accredited training company registered with a number of CETAs, MERCETA, Services CETA, Agri CETA. And now we recently got O E T D P CETA, or E T D P CETA actually. Lots of CETA. Yes. <laughs> um, we are an accredited company. Okay, I've been in the training space for almost 20 years. I was working for different companies, but I always had a feel that there is a market that has not been touched, especially the unemployed. Uh, most of the time, the company will do business to business, where they just focus mainly on delivering to what the client wants but forgetting that there are those who are unemployed. Um, my, my focus mainly was how to source grant and develop the unemployed in making sure that at the end of the day, they turn into entrepreneurs. That's why we focus on technical trainings. By the time you leave our program, you can stand on your own. And honestly speaking, at the moment, we have high rate of unemployment for the youth. So developing them into entrepreneurs is the best solution that we can have at the moment. Yeah. Okay. So what difference do you think your product or service is going to make in society? Our focus in developing the unemployed. Especially if, let's be honest, we have high rate also of teenage pregnancies. By the time they are 10 in 20, 21, 22, 23, they are unemployed, they are mothers. And what happens to them? They depend on the government for grants. Still not sufficient for giving kids good proper or proper education at the end of the day. Now what we offer is that, let's give you a skill, so that by the time you leave the program, you are able to go and make, a food, make food for your kids or fend for your family. For example, yesterday we just finished a program of head making with 11 girls. To me, it's an achievement to see a woman saying, I'm making calls to make orders for my heads already. I can go and make heads for other people. That is an achievement to the program. Mm. So what made you turn to propeller? In any, in, to me, and any entrepreneur, for you to grow, you need to be incubated. For an egg to a hedge, it needs to be incubated. So to grow, you need to be around those that they can grow you. You can never know everything in your life. You can never have all the answers. So go to those that know better. I, there's a statement in Kosa, though I'm not Kosa, that says, yeah. So you learn from those who know the program so that you can be better. You can never live in, in silo and say that you can grow. So I came to Propel and I do not regret any, any step, anything about it. The fact that I took an initiative and I actually completed that application online. I don't regret any it because it has, it has grown me. I've moved from just being an egg to a worm, from a worm to a butterfly. Mm -hmm. So to me, there's a lot of growth. Yep. So next question is, what has your aha moment been so far? Whoo! Table. <laughs> My aha moment. Remember in any institution, in any business, you have competitors. Now, my competitors, most of them are huge companies or big companies. Number one, they've been in the industry for quite some time. Number two, they are doing way better, they are known better than me. But now remember now, they have insufficient funds to bring in any type of programs that they want in their companies. But now, we didn't have an online platform. And having an online platform costs about 30, 30 grand. And as an institution that still grows, we're still investing in a lot of things. We didn't have that amount of money. The day Jonathan calls me and says, your online platform is ready, log in. Woo! 
I cried my heart out. <laughs> you see, now for a change, I realized I'm like my competitors. It doesn't matter how huge or emotional or what I in their space. One thing that we were lacking, actually Propeller has filled us in so that now we are in the same level with, the, with, the, with our competitors. That was the best moment. And an action. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So how has Propeller impacted your entrepreneurial journey? Unfortunately, Propeller has, not only has they given us the, 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 what you call it, the online platform, but it also gave us some lessons or trainings on how to get our self-compliance. And that has helped because we are now able to get clients in the corporate world. So to me, that has helped. And I continually get supported on that in making sure that we are compliant, we know how to be better, we know how to develop, we know how to do proposals. We can access different funds for different purposes. So it has helped. The skill that I've learned is that you need to be innovative. And the innovation that you are using this year is not useful next year. Mm -hmm. And you're, as an entrepreneur, you should always be on your toes. Learn, learn, learn. And the most important part that uh, uh, Propeller has shown me is that technology is changing. And we can never be static as entrepreneurs. We can never be as wise as we down anyone as entrepreneurs. And we are forever learning and learning and learning and learning. I'm in my 40s, but I still learn. So, like, what's the one quote that you live by, like, that kind of carries you through challenges, through anything in life? I have a few. Mm -hmm. But one thing that I know for sure is that everybody has potential. And some of us, depending on where, on where we come, or come from, some of us start at stage three, some of us start at stage one, some of us start at stage five, depending on where you come from. But we are all given the potential and the strength to start where you have to start. There's a saying in Kosa, I just want to get it the right words, that says, Aloli mm. You can never sit and complain about everything. There is no way that life can bring you things on the silver platter. And like I said, sometimes you have to start by building your mom's home before you can go and start on your own. But sometimes some people have to, they've just been given a house once they finish to start on their own. It depends on where you have to live. But at the end of the day, you have to do what you have to do. Well, that was lovely. Thank you so